The Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Chapter 15, verses 9 to 11. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Once again, let us anchor ourselves with the context of our gospel readings. Context is very important to reflect and meditate on the Word of God. Lectio Divina. Example of context. Babies who are born during this time of the pandemic five or ten years from now, they might not understand the terms quarantine, lockdown, ayuda, community pantry, unless you explain the context. Oh, nung panahon namin ng pandemia, they will understand. Unless the pandemic extends to five to ten years more. Hopefully not. Another example would be, how will a child understand if a child asks us the question? Ano ang ibig sabihin ng ang pangulo lang ang pwedeng magmura? There is a context there. But we will not explain that in the Mass dahil uso ngayon ang red tagging. May context din yan. At pilit nilang pinapalitan yung red tagging ng truth tagging. Char na naman yan. And what is the context of our gospel readings in the past and in the days to come? Ano yung setting? The Last Supper. What is the theme? Farewell message. Huling habilin. So if we place ourselves in that context, we will understand the efforts of Jesus to console his disciples. We will appreciate the efforts. Dahil nagpapaalam si Jesus, syempre nalulungkot yung mga apostoles, natatakot, nangangamba. At sasabihin ni Jesus, I am the vine, you are the branches. Remain in my love. Abide in my presence. Anong nangyari? He was betrayed by Judas. He was denied by Peter. He was abandoned despite his uh, farewell message at puling habilin. So, mas maunawaan natin itong evangelyo kapag we place ourselves in that setting. And today, we try to reflect with if we keep the Father's commandments and remain in His love, my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. Itong sinasabi ni Jesus ay galing sa puso niya dahil 100% He obeyed the Father's will and it produced in Him such joy that it was complete. Ito yung bilin niya sa mga apostoles at bilin din niya sa atin. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. Can you remember an experience where you have experienced complete joy Hindi sinabi ni Jesus dito yung and your joy might be permanent. Complete lang. 
sisters, may karanasan ba kayo? Mamaya sa breakfast, lunch, or dinner, mag-sharing kayo. Palagay ko, hindi matatapos yung dinner nyo o lunch pag nag-sharing kayo ng experience of complete joy. As long as we remain in the Father's love, abide in His loving presence, and keep His commandments like Jesus doing the will of the Father, dun lang tayo magkakaroon ng complete joy. It might not be permanent because it is so difficult to sustain remaining in love with the Lord 24-7. Especially during the time of the pandemic na nakaka-distract ang mga, mga pangyayari. Personally, in our lives, uh, nawawala yung ating uh, connection with the Lord because of fear, anxiety. Minsan nga kapag tumutunog yung cellphone ko, eh, minsan ayoko lang munang tignan eh. Kasi yung cellphone ko parang logbook ng nursing station. Please pray, may sakit, inatake, uh, agaw buhay, uh, ganyan, ganyan. O kung hindi, katul- hindi parang logbook ng nursing station, parang obituary, please pray for the repose of the soul. O oh, ganun, ganun yung nakikita ko lagi sa self. Minsan, hindi ko muna tinitignan eh. Pero, alam nyo, pag nakikita ko yun, pinagdadasal ko kaagad kasi baka makalimutan ko sa, sa sobrang dami eh. Pinagdadasal ko kagad. At naisip ko lang, may joy na pumapasok sa puso ko. Complete, pero hindi permanent. Dahil alam ko na pag nagtatanim tayo ng panalangin para sa ating kapwa, magbubunga ito ng panalangin pabalik sa atin. So the more we pray for others, we are assured that people will also pray for us. Yan ang fruits of praying, praying for others. So pagdating ng panahon na tayo naman ay nasa karamdaman at sakit, naghihingalo o pumaya pa na, yung mga panalangin natin sa ating kapwa, babalik sa atin yon. So kahit delayed yung pagtingin ko sa cellphone, pinagdadasal ko kaagad. So we pray in this Mass, in this Eucharistic celebration, my dear brothers and sisters, that uh, despite the difficulty, our human nature drags us down. Let us ask the Lord to lift up our human spirit para sa ganon ay uh, yung ating joy, although not permanent, would be complete. Magiging permanente lang siguro yung joy na ito kapag uh, we enjoy already the beatific vision in our true homeland in heaven. At palagay ko, marami sa atin ang ayaw pang mag, uh, magkaroon ng permanent joy. Sinong gustong magkaroon ng permanent joy na ngayon? Wala pa muna. Hindi pa tapos yung ating paglalakbay. Complete joy lang. Kahit pa putol-putol, we sustain our abiding presence. We remain in love and we try to keep the Father's commandments and follow His will.